Hey guys, so it's Agent J here. For, I'm going to show you a quick walkthrough of BBM for the iPhone. If you are running iOS 6 and 7, you will be able to get that BBM stuff and love on your device. So at the top left hand corner, what we do have here, it's the ability to change your name your details and update your status and put what's on your mind. All of your updates for what's going on with all of your contacts comes under there. Then you could put whatever uh, your status is and under the status you have the ability to change from available, busy, show if you're busy. So when you tap on that then you have that. And then you have the ability to uh, put a little status message or something nice there. Like I'm finally on BBM or something. Anyway, so you could go back now and to the top right hand corner right here what you do have it's the ability to start a chat or a message to one of your contacts and now to the bottom left hand corner you have the three tabs which is accessible by simply swiping over like that a bb10 gesture it's pretty nice and it works actually really nice on the, the black the iphone compared to the android for some reason and then you have chats contacts and groups updates and invites so this is like a quick way to access everything with the simple uh, swipe over gesture like that. It's actually really good on this device. Anyways, so you get the chats right here, you get the contacts in the middle, and you can invite to BBM by four methods such as a barcode, PIN, email, and SMS. With the Android or BlackBerry 10 you have the ability to add via uh, Add, add contacts via NFC. Then you have groups, you could create a group uh, and manage your group and keep all your contacts if you want. It's a pretty cool thing. And then you have help settings, invite to BBM, create new groups and join groups. So that's pretty much everything and I'll just go through the settings for you guys as well. So settings, I'll just swipe down so you guys don't see the BlackBerry ID. So in the settings, what you do have here, it's uh, you could show the country, update your status with the, well, show your music updates and stuff like that, the contact layouts, you could uh, change it from grid to list, and you could do the security invites for stuff, you could edit and block contacts, and then you could see the version right here is 1.0.67, and then you could report a problem. Uh, one problem that I am having, and I'll let you guys know right away, it's uh, if I add a contact, it sorts of does not add the contact, if you know what I mean, and I'll show you in a second. So I'll go back there and I'll show you quickly how you add a contact. So uh, I'm going to use my BlackBerry 10 device because, you know, you got to represent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm going to show you really quickly. So let me get my device show barcode and this is my uh, BBM. I know a lot of people are going to add this for some reason but so invite to BBM and I'm going to invite by the barcode and I'm going to scan this barcode right there and you scan it and the glitch what I'm seeing is basically you, you, you can't really add the contact the person shows up right but let's say oh, okay so the person does show up so hey let's see how long the message takes to delay I think I got the message, but I'm not sure. Okay, so the message shows up right there. Okay, so just one second, let me open up this chat so you guys can see everything. So I'm going to say hi, send it, and you see the hi shows up. Uh, one thing to do note, I'm going to type on this device right here, and if you watch with my left hand right there, you'll see it's uh, typing. So I'm going to just say uh, BBM Yo. Like I said, I'm um, typing through a uh, screen, so it's going to be a little off. So, see, I don't know if you guys saw the updated right there, so I'm going to type something else. And you can see it's writing a message right there. So I'm trying to show, and it gets sent. Then you get all the beautiful uh, e emotions or the icons, if you want to call it, uh, that's available for BlackBerry 10. And this has a black team for... Uh, the iPhone that which is and the Android but the black team helps to save on battery life so that's pretty cool and then you could select the contacts in there and you could attach uh, you could basically take a picture select a picture and send a voice note identical to that on Android and then you could do more things like invite more attach send and ping so I just ping that person so I'm gonna say hey I'm gonna see the, the, the response speed now so I'm gonna say hey what's up I don't know, I like that tactile keyboard, guys. Oh, wait, I wasn't even typing. Hey. Just gonna type some stuff. And you saw it descent there, right? I'm not sure if it's showing up. Okay, so if you look right there, and this is the problem that I'm telling you sometimes that occurs, you get the, the X or 
the not delivered uh, notifications on the device. I'm trying to get you guys to see. And the reason for that right now, I'll tell you guys, it's uh, BlackBerry put out a statement saying that they basically shut down the update for any app, uh, iPhone, so you won't be able to get it for the iPhone and you won't be able to get it for the Android because they purposely shut it down and the reason, the, the versions that I have, it's the leak versions and that's the biggest problem. However, uh, you know, I could get messages, but I can't send messages from my BlackBerry 10 device to uh, my iPhone because this actually has a good full version, but this does not. Things that are missing in the BlackBerry 10, and I'll show you really briefly, it's the VOIP. And what I mean by VOIP, you can make phone calls over uh, the messenger to this contact right here, and you don't, you can make a, a chat. So I'll quickly show you how that looks on uh, one of my contacts right here. So I'll try to hide her name. So right there, if you could look, you could make the contacts and then you could call that person. And when you're calling that person, it looks like that. And uh, you can make a play on and all that stuff right there. So that's pretty much it for uh, BBM on the iPhone. I showed you what is not on it, what works, what doesn't work, and everything in between. So this is Agent J, please hit the like button. It's not my fault. Uh, the, the apps aren't there, so don't take it out on me, but I'll try to help you guys get it out on your device. So this is Agent Jake. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video or uh, how to get this for your device. So I'll see you guys soon. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you guys are getting the BBM for iPhone. I want to know. I really want to know. And tell me if you guys want to see the VOIP and the voice, well, the Skype-like uh, chat for BBM. See you guys later. Bye.